let's quickly go over some typical workflows in 3D Coat and how they involve the different workspaces or rooms. If you want to do some texture painting, you can paint on texture maps inside of the paint room or you can bring an object into the voxel room or you could start a model from scratch there. You can sculpt, detail, even paint. But to paint you need to go to the paint room. In order to see it in a viewport by default it should be checked view show voxels in paint room. In this case I don't want to show that because I already have a mesh here and I'll hit the 4 key so you can see. But if I were to hide these objects that I already have merged into the paint room and now enable that you can see my voxel model here in paint room and I can use the layers just in the very same manner as I would regular texture painting. So it works almost identical. Um, there's one caveat. The depth channel does not work with vertex painting because it's simply storing color and specular information as of this recording. So if you want depth, obviously you already have a voxel model so you can use the sculpting tools in the voxel room for that very purpose. Okay. And then what you would do from that point is if you don't need um, a low poly model to bake all those textures onto, you can just uh, do a still render or something of that sort. Or if you're just a, some product design or quick prototyping, you really don't even need to do any retopology. Uh, you could just send this uh, to an external application and use uh, vertex color maps uh, to represent all this color that you've painted. Okay, so let's go back, uncheck this, so that the voxel object is no longer shown in the paint room. I'm going to go ahead and turn my objects back on. Okay, so what I can do is if I have a model that I've created outside of 3D Coat, I can always bring it in in the typical fashion of going to File Menu, Import, Model for Per Pixel Painting, Micro Vertex Painting or PTEX. Per Pixel Painting has you working with live normal map painting in the depth channel. Micro Vertex has you painting on displacement maps in the depth channel. And they operate a little bit different. So, again, like I said, I would uh, suggest going to the manual, and there is a section that an entire page that covers the differences between the two and we'll also talk about it further in a separate video. PTEX simply allows you to dynamically paint areas that you want greater levels of detail and PTEX will automatically uh, scale those polygons up in the 0 to 1 texture space for you. Okay so there again there's some advantages and disadvantages to that approach as well that we'll, we'll touch on that in a later video. Okay, so if you want to start off in the voxel room to do your sculpting and detailing and such, you can simply go to the voxel workspace, the file menu, merge a model into the paint room. You can also use under the object section, go to the merge tab and it does the same, same thing. And you'll see a, a tool options panel here and you can choose to have um, the different objects come in as separate instances or separate volumes. Uh, you can also merge without voxelizing and this will basically bring it in in surface mode where you don't have any volume to be concerned about. It's just dealing with the outer mesh. Okay, and what you see this in white here is simply just a, a little proxy container uh, to fill the, uh, the volume with voxels. The next step in the process would be to retopologize your model. You can elect to use auto retopology, right click on the layer. Under Autopo, you have some options here. You can choose Autopo and it will try to apply nice even quads across the model. Um, on a character where you want to be uh, concerned with topology for animation purposes and such, you may be better off attempting to just 
do it manually. That way you have uh, far more control over the topology. Okay. So once done, you have a set of UV tools here in the Retopo workspace because it's assuming you're starting from scratch. Now you can bring a model, for example, if I brought one that I've already created in an external application, I can always just reuse this mesh, import it in, and use that as my low poly version, okay, to bake all the details down to. You can do that by clicking on the import button in the tool panel or going to the Retopo menu and selecting import. And so you would bring your, your mesh in and uh, snap it to the model. Okay, and once you have your UVs laid out, which is very simple and easy to do in 3D Coat, you just quickly create your seams. I hold the shift key and I can create quick loops just like that. Uh, I'll undo. And once you've created your seams, just simply um, unwrap. And so once you're done, you would uh, merge it into the paint room and it's going to bake all the details from the voxels onto this retopologized mesh and send it over to the paint room so that you can go ahead and continue painting. In the next tutorial we're going to go over the user interface, how to customize it, save hotkeys, load brushes, and so on. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.